British citizen, I'm not a Zimbabwean at all. Um, uh, but I'm here today with everybody because the injustice in your country is just breathtaking. You don't so much have a government in your country as a mafia. They are not, you should not call it ever a government because they are plundering your country as we speak. They've plundered it to such an extent there's nothing left. There's nothing left for anyone in the population whatsoever, which is why Mugabe can be there eating cake with his Marie Antoinette, telling you you should not be eating maize or something now she's come out with. It's unbelievable. They are sick, sick people, including most of the ZANU PF. And we really want the ZANU PF to be classified as a terrorist organization, the same as ISIS. ZANU PF and ISIS are so common. The ISIS kill and execute their people on a regular basis. ISIS do the same as ZANU PF. So why are ZANU PF here in the UK with a representative in the nature of nasty Nick? He should not be. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce all that. He shouldn't be here, and he should be thrown out of the country. He should be deported. We shouldn't see people like Leslie deported because of her activism. We've got Nick Nick needs to be deported every time. 100 yes. percent No one else should be deported for their activism. Everyone's saying here about your human rights, but your human rights are suppressed here in the UK as well by the UK government. The whole asylum process is in a suppression of your human rights. And again, it's wrong. And me as a British citizen, I'm ashamed to be British in listening to my own damn useless government and the civil service and national it has to stop. People need to wake up and our function in our organisation is to raise the market awareness of what's going on in your country because it needs to be brought to attention. Mugabe is in the same position now as Pol Pot and Adolf Hitler. They're in the same breed and they have to go and I hope he chokes today. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>